Trees in real life grow and get old. Some branches die before others, and taking care of these branches will affect the overall health of the tree. Therefore, gardeners try to maintain trees, and this is called pruning. We mentioned earlier that the decision tree can grow to become very big. Sometimes, this can cause the tree to have some extra unnecessary branches, which will result in slowing down the performance of the decision tree, and will result in making the decision tree specific to your training data. In machine learning, we try to make our model learn and understand how to predict and solve problems, and not to memorize. The techniques applied to real trees can be applied here too. Decision trees can be pruned down by removing the branches that do not add much value to it. This can reduce the size of our tree and improves the accuracy of the tree predictions. More formally, pruning is the process of removing low importance branches that results in improving the performance of the decision tree. There are two types of pruning, pre-pruning and post-pruning. Imagine you build up your decision tree and it is fully functional and ready to use. Then you go and analyze your decision tree and you notice some weak and unnecessary branches. So you decide on removing these branches. This step is called post pruning because you decided to remove the branches after the decision tree is complete. On the other hand, pre pruning is basically where you stop the decision tree from branching. If you see that the branch will not add value and will only increase the complexity of the decision tree.